Hello everyone, my name is Zelda Kelly. I'm with PsychicSecrets.com. Today is your love connection reading. We're going to see what's going on with you in the love department and in the current and future love department that you have. I know that there is a message in here for you. You were brought here for a reason. And sometimes we get love and sometimes we get other things. And let's see what message is coming up for you. This reading will not resonate with everyone, so please just take what resonates with you. And usually these readings are good for at least 10 to maybe even two weeks from the date that you're seeing this. All right. So we're going to start out with a message in the love connection. All right. First thing is the Queen of Pentacles. Now, what I like to do is lay out one row at a time so we can really get an idea of what's going on with you. So one row at a time, let's see. Message for the love connection, please. Message for the love connection. All right, so let's cut the deck. And now I'm just going to lay these cards out. Very good. Very good beginning. I love this energy. Wow. I love this energy. And wow, wow. On the bottom of the deck so far, you've got the moon, which is very good for you as well in this particular reading. So let's start with this first row. I think this first row is telling us that it seems as though you were preparing for a relationship. You had been praying, working on, meditating, asking for guidance, and you've gotten it. Now, whether you realize someone in your life right now, I don't know. But I can tell you, if you don't have someone, they are coming, and they are coming very, very soon. With this Nine of Cups, you can see him. Let's, let's talk about him. You can see him. He is so accomplished. Look at that little face. Isn't he cute? He is the card that tells you that this is your heart's desire. You're getting your heart's desire. It is the yes card, and it is also the accomplishment card. Look how, look how confident he sits there, and he's got all of his little cups in a row, just like a, <laughs> just like trophies sitting up there. I think this is representing you being ready for a relationship or even in the next step of a relationship. Now, with this Queen of Pentacles here, she is admiring, and it doesn't necessarily mean to be money, but I'm going to say an accomplishment, just like our little friend here, an accomplishment that she has gotten ready. And I think that comes into mind here with the star card. You see with the star card, you have, re you have really required balance in your reading or in your, yes, in your reading and especially in your relationship. But with the star card, you see, you need the balance and one foot in the pond, one foot on the ground. That's basically meaning that you're grounded, but you're ready to take the next step. This is an excellent faith card, praying card. You know, you're you're basically this little bird. He represents um, being able to go into another situation. And that's how I'm interpreting this, is that you're now ready. You have found the balance. And also, this represents your conscious and your subconscious mind. So you really have been working on, if you manifest, you're really working on your manifestation. And this is your sign that you're getting what you want. And quite frankly, I think I'm going to say that watch what you wish for because you're going to get it. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure with these two cards, that is a good title for this. And that's what I think this is going to be. Watch for your wish card. The Queen of Swords, you can see here that she is, I think she represents a benevolent queen because she does not, I mean, she's serious, but you see that she does not have her sword drawn ready for battle. It is there because she is in an authority position. This is neither really gender. 
it is an energy. And this energy, you see that she has her hand out. She is ready to negotiate. She's ready to work things out, communicate. And I think that represents you. You are really such a good person about working out circumstances, things. So let's lay out our second row and see where we are with this. Oh, I love that. Ace of Cups. Yes, yes. Temperance. Very, very good. And the Three of, of uh, Cups. Now, with this Moon card, this ties in because I think that you've been working through phases just like the Moon. You've been working through, and you know there's there's an old saying about Sometimes when you're wishing for something, you feel like you're barking at the moon. Well, the moon has been listening. The moon has been looking down on you. You have balance. You see these two things right here? They have balance. You have been working, I'm going to say, for a long time. But let's talk. I'm going to set this to the side. Let's talk about this wonderful energy of the second row. I love this. Yes, yes. Watch what you wish for because you are going to get it. So that means if you're currently in a relationship, next step is coming. A new beginning is coming. And if you are not in a relationship and single right now, well, you are about to find that person because this is a timing card. And that timing is bringing you love that you your just cup is just going to flow over with love. That person, if you're single, is right around the corner. Now, this is very interesting that our little friend, the temperance card, has come out. Because as you see, the temperance card requires balance. She's pouring water. Our star card, well, she's pouring water too. We've got the balance of one foot on the ground in the water, one one foot in the ground, one in the water. That basically is a confirmation that balance has been the most important thing for you in this relationship, coming or currently. You, this is an excellent reading for you because the last thing we have is the celebration card. And I don't know if you can see this, but to me, this also is an indicator of fall. If you're seeing this close to the fall time, if not, I'm going to say it is a harvest. So you're bringing in what you're, you're reaping. You're getting ready to reap what you're sowing. You're harvesting this wonderful, beautiful relationship. This last card is a celebration coming together working through things. It can also mean growing your family as well. Growing growing as far as children. This is an excellent reading for you. I'm so glad you stopped by. Things are working out, but I've got to just say once again, watch what you wish for because you're going to get it. Thank you so much for watching The Love Connection with me. I'm Zelda Kelly. I'm with Psychic Secrets. And if you would please do me a favor and like and subscribe. That helps me a lot, as you know. And I will continue bringing you content as much as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Be well and see you again next time.